Hi guys, good morning, welcome to the Wendelas Farm vlog. Today is a continuation of the previous vlog. Here we are in the evening playing at home. Welcome to this channel. If it's your first time, please hit the like button, press subscribe and become one member of the family. Just jumping up and down. Do you miss being in London? Um, I don't miss being there. I just miss guys kind of shopping in Westfields and uh, wow. I just miss guys kind of Westfields. I miss guys kind of Selfridges. I miss guys kind of Kensington High Street. I yeah. miss guys kind of Oxford Street. Me too. I miss going Night Town. Holland Park. I miss guys kind of Gucci. Okay, okay. So I stopped recording already. <laughs> Guys, I have something to share with you from my heart and it have been a long time I am thinking about this and I didn't had the chance yet to send this message out there in a way that you guys can understand. I'm going to start by sharing a story and this story starts when I was 10 years old and I was just a kid and I lived in Brazil in poverty. I had no chances of you know being with my parents whatsoever I was with my mom family who raised me and i was washing the dishes and uh, i remember having this thought about wanting to go to spain wanting to go live in spain and wanting to have my own life my own family and being a really you know young woman that has everything she ever desired and I always desired to have a family. So fast forward 20 years, 22 years, I'm here. And I feel like Best God world. have gave me Best everything world. I asked for, not just to go to Spain, but I went to England and I learned English. Now I have this platform and I have a compromise with you guys of sharing uh, the real truth. What makes me vibe the things that you know that bring me here from where i was and the stuff that really kept me up even though life tried to put me down multiple times and you know i think um i think the reason why i'm here is to have this beautiful family and share with you guys some of the thoughts i have and i came across you know just about having families and about what's the meaning of this. So I wrote this test about family and let me read it to you and see what you think. In the tempestry of life, family is the threat that brings us together. From the dawn of creation, God designed the family to be the cornerstone of society and a sanctuary of love, support and growth. In Proverbs 22.6, remind us of something it says like this train up a child in the way he should go and when he's old he will not depart from it as parents it's our sacred duty to nurture and guide our children instilling in them the values of faith compassion and integrity guys it's a nice sunny day perfect to chill out outdoors i'm here with trinity and taking advantage that the sun is shining, just taking some sun for real. Ephesians 6 4 it speaks to the role of parents. I love that. It says, flower. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Through love and discipline, we shape the character and future of our children. As a family, we find strength in unity, as stated in mm. Ecclesians 4.12, through one may be oh, overpowered, wow. can't. two can defend themselves. A cord of three stands in, is not equal, is not quickly broken. Together, we weather life storms and celebrate its blessings in, in a more powerful way. One, 13, 4, 7, beautifully describes love within the family.
yeah guys and i was going to go out today but i feeling i'm feeling a bit sick honestly like i have a throat so you know you have a cold soft throat and your my nose is kind of blocked and you can see hearing my voice like i'm not really fully speaking and my eyes are kind of watery and yeah it's just mad i don't feel so great to go out but i do feel great to stay outside for a little bit or maybe sit out here and i'm gonna edit with maybe for a while while she's playing the death and yeah just enjoy like this the morning love is patient love is kind it does no envy it does not bust it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it's not easily angry and it keeps no records of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres in the tempestry of this life family is our greatest treasure a reflection of god's unconditional love for us okay guys here jamai and trini are getting ready to go out and i'm gonna stay in with baby she just managed to put her to sleep and the jamai just recovered the car he has been without the car for a long time let us cherish each moment support one another and grow in faith together for in god's eyes we are one family bound by love and we choose our own families here so yeah guys my message to you today is that you remember that dream in your heart if you don't have one just build a vision in your mind something that you really want to accomplish and go for it because you have the power to accomplish anything you put your mind to and you can do it and if nobody believes in you if you don't think you have the chances if someone is putting this belief in your mind remember that faith of the amount of a grain of mustard can move mountains so all you have to do is have a little faith believe in yourself and go for the things you have in your heart no matter who is against you what is against you or what life brings to your way because you build life through your vision and you build life through the things you choose to pay attention to so pay attention on those signs that God is sending to you God always sends us signs he always tell us what is best for us and how we should proceed and when we're going against the things that God wants we just don't feel good guys and I can tell that is you know when it's the right path and you know when something is off so just tune in with the symphony of god the symphony of your heart and make sure you just are happy with your being and doing good things for you for others and mostly for your family because you know it's difficult to love one another and it's difficult to love you know everything in general but the most difficult thing is really to love ourselves and to know ourselves to know our shadows or bad things and love them anyway because we're human beings and sometimes yes we make mistakes and we might not know the correct things all the time but if we try our best yeah, and i want hard, to thank you we can guys make for it watching the episode of today i can keep talking too much i have kids making noise in the background and i'm just gonna carry on with my day but i appreciate you for being here you guys are a light in my way in my journey and i really thank you for everything wow. i love you so much have a blessed day i love you guys thank you so much for everything thank you for watching for the likes the subscribers the shares thank you for being there for commenting thank you for every time you guys show up in my feed in my stories i really appreciate you and if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here doing these videos but i really think they can serve you and they really serve me to you know be more connected with my family with you guys and it's a great community that we have here so i just want to thank you for everything keep it up keep doing a great job keep believing in yourself and i'm here for you and i believe in you and um, i love you guys i see you on the next episode bye bye